President Bakane has renewed her call for stronger national security and a stronger economy. Both fronts of the country is facing strong challenges from sources at home and abroad. Song ji Sun has our top story. National security topped the agenda for President Buck's first cabinet meeting since her return from Africa and France. The president stressed the looming threat of attacks on South Korea and its people. North Korea has often threatened to bomb the presidential office. And Seoul's intelligence agency said Sunday that the Islamic State militant group had targeted U.S. air bases in Korea and one Korean citizen. Given these threats, President Bak renewed her call for stronger counterterrorism measures. Terror는 사전 예방이 무엇보다도 중요한 만큼 6월 4일 출범한 국무총리실 소속 대 테러 센터를 중심으로 우리나라에서 발생 가능한 테러 양상과 이에 따른 대비책을 사전에 준비하고 훈련 체계까지 철저히 점검해야 할 것입니다. President Buck also noted that Korean economy is facing strong challenges from both at home and abroad, with additional uncertainties from the EU referendum scheduled for Thursday. She added that the government's restructuring efforts must continue, however painful they may be, in order to upgrade Korea's industry so they can pave the way for new growth. 지금 같은 어려운 상황을 해쳐가기 위해서는 국내 여건만을 조정하고 우리에게 주어진 길만을 가서는 안될 것입니다. 안으로는 지속적인 변화와 개혁을 통해서 우리 경제의 체질을 개선하고 밖으로는 새로운 시장을 끊임없이 개척해야 합니다. Referring to her recent trips to Iran, East Africa, and France, President Buck also called on her cabinet to follow through with the business agreements reached with the partner countries so that massive projects to build industrial complexes and boost infrastructure can gain momentum. Song Ji-san, Arirang News.